Hello, I'm Susan Matching, the convener of Indonesian at SOAS University. This is my second video, and today I'm going to talk about the peculiarity of Indonesian grammar compared to English and many other languages. At least one factor is unique to Indonesian compared to English and several other languages, the importance of intention. Whether you intend to do something for yourself or others, whether you do something deliberately or not, these can be indicated in the grammar. I am writing a book about this, but don't worry, I'm not going to talk about the whole book, otherwise you will get sick of me. But I'm just going to talk about a grammatical point very briefly, and this grammatical point can also be vocabulary exercise. Let's have a look at this one now. Please. The word please can be translated into six words, at least in Indonesian, depending on the speaker's intention. Yes, a lot for just one word, but this is the interesting thing. Today, I'm just going to talk about the first two words, silakan and tolong. The word silakan is used if you invite or allow someone to do something or grant someone a permission to do something. For instance, if your friend asks you, may I borrow your book? The answer in Indonesian is silakan. The word tolong. The word tolong literally means help and has two main functions. The first is asking someone to do something. For instance, a lecturer asks a student, tolong baca. The second is asking someone for help. For instance, if we want to move or bring some book, but it's too heavy, we can ask someone, tolong bawa buku ini. Let's compare tolong and silakan using the same sentence. Please bring the book. So you come to a friend's place and see a beautiful book. If your friend says, tolong bawa buku ini, this means that your friend either instructs you or asks for your help to bring the book. Perhaps he has too many things to carry and needs you to bring the book. It is unlikely that your friend wants you to keep it because it is for her benefit that she asks you to bring the book. If your friend says, silakan bawa buku ini, this means that your friend allows you to bring the book and maybe to keep it. You have more freedom to do what you want with the book compared to the previous sentence. So that's just a small example. My question is, why does intention matter in Indonesian grammar? Well, I will discuss this further in class. I believe that studying language is also studying about the culture really deeply. So you will learn a lot about Indonesia by learning the language. Thank you.